Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Lee with another episode of Derm Path Made Easy. And we're going to go along with our theme this week of polypoid lesions in the skin. So we've already talked about accessory tragus. We've talked about accessory nipple. And today we're going to talk about accessory digit. So accessory digit just means, you know, you have more than five fingers. Not This is what it looks like clinically. And it could really be, I believe the most common location is on the ulnar aspect, you know, on the lateral aspect of the pinky. But it can also happen on the radial aspect near the thumb and also in the middle of the fingers. And depending on the location of the lesion, you may just get sort of like these short, uh, almost wart-like papules. And you can also have structures that are, you know, complete with a nail. And uh, as you can see here. So let's take a look at what we see under the microscope. First thing we can tell is that this is acral skin. If you remember, acral skin has an area, oh, first of all, it has orthohyperkeratosis, very dense keratin. And then there's a layer called the stratum lucidum that you don't see anywhere else, which is that pale layer that you see just above that epidermis. Um, so this lesion is a polypoid lesion and it's pretty busy in the center. It's busy in the center because we have these fascicles or bundles of nerve bundles here. Um, you can see that here we have these wavy nerve bundles and you have these nuclei which are present in the center. Oftentimes the nuclei can also be pretty wavy as well. Um, this, lesion is uh, this lesion has been irritated and you can see sort of lichen simplex chronicus like change, this irregular radi ridge pattern. Okay, let's take a look at some other examples uh, that I found. Here, this is another example. Uh, you have a lifted papular uh, polypoid thing. Uh, irregular acanthosis, uh, the person probably constantly chronically irritating this lesion. And as we come in, you can see that, again, you have numerous nerve bundles. Nerve bundles have sort of this pale pink cytoplasm, wavy uh, fibers, and oftentimes wavy nuclei. Okay. Um, Let's see, we have another example here. Again, similar kind of picture, um, orthohyperkeratosis. We can tell that we're on acral skin and the central area here, which is pretty busy. And that busy area, again, are just wavy nerve fibers. And here you can actually make out very nice wavy nuclei. And uh, this is a related, well, not related entity, but this is something that you may kind of trick you up. Uh, that you can easily confuse. First of all, you can tell again that this is an acral skin because we have this dense, thickened stratum corneum and the stratum lucidum right there. But the difference between this one is we come towards the center, we don't actually see any nerve bundles. We see fibrovascular tissue. So this is just fibroblasts and you know, sort of collagen in here and dilated blood vessels. This is called an acquired digital fibrokeratoma. And oftentimes in these lesions, again, this is an acquired digital fibrokeratoma. The collagen bundles may orient very kind of uh, 90 degrees to the surface. So you'll see collagen bundles and you can see them here demonstrated kind of this 90 degree orientation to the epidermal, uh, to, the, to the base of the, the skin here. And this is what it looks like clinically. It's a little bit you know, a little bit different. You can be on the lateral aspect of a nail, and here's one on top of that hand. So that's the main differential when you when you see these things. Um, the accessory digit, and that's has nerve bundles, uh, oftentimes we're oriented upwards as well, and acquired digital fibrokeratoma, no nerve bundles, just fibro uh, fibrovascular tissue in the center. Thanks, guys. If this has helped you at all, please like, subscribe, and share this with other people that you may think would enjoy this kind of content. Until next time.